What's up everyone? Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Doing something a little different. Those of you that haven't joined, it's mostly been car related up until now. Uh, I'm going to start throwing some motorcycle stuff in. It's pretty much riding season all year round in Texas, but it's starting to warm up a bit, so it's going to be way more comfortable. Um, have a motorcycle here I've had for several years now. Uh, it's not looking too pretty, all the plastics. Recently found a great deal. Um, guys on YouTube, his name's uh, Torrent Performance. Go check him out if you're into motorcycles or Aprilias. Um, dude hooked me up with a really great deal on a full set of plastics. So this bike will be back to the original color. I've got three or four boxes of body parts. I've got a ton of maintenance and upgrades here, carbon fiber parts, fuel line disconnects, battery, uh, headlight retrofit, I ignore that part that just crashed, and uh, I'm going to kind of work on some of that today, hopefully get the bike running and uh, ready for riding season here pretty soon. So hope you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and leave me comments, subscribe, I may throw some motor vlogs on this channel if you're into that kind of thing, um, if not let me know. So, I'm gonna get started good. Alright, so, a bunch of parts here. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this today, the headlight retrofit kit. Um, I bought a bunch of headlights. Well, I had a headlight. And then I bought a headlight. I forgot I bought a headlight. Now I bought another one. The headlight on these fairings is flusher. There's, I think there's two different versions of this headlight or uh, front nose fairing. One of them sits a bit more flush than the other one. And one way I know for sure is that you lose dash space, I guess, right here, or a little cubby hole. Anyways, I've replaced that front fairing once before and it had kind of like just like a small little dash or something. Of course I can't find the part. Go figure. But it had small like a little dash. This one sits further back so I had to buy another headlight that was more further back. Two headlights that push further forward. I'm hoping the new fairings I just got back uh, or got from Torrent Performance that it works. I'm going to pull all the fairings off this, including the gas tank. This is not a gas tank cover. It's actually the full tank. That new battery. Um, starter solenoid. Upgrading that to the 150 amp. I'm going to upgrade the wiring at some point. And probably have to replace the stator here soon. Um, some carbon fiber bits. And just some probably generic maintenance. Uh, clean it up a little bit while I'm at it. I'm gonna get started on this. See about unboxing some of these uh, some of these body panels and check them out. I had a garage knife. <laughs> this will work. Maybe. So um, I kind of already took a peek at the gas tank. Um, switch fuel cap over. I'm pretty sure I'm going to switch my section right there. Front fender which I won't need but good to have. Yeah. 
Belly pain. Should be a decent afternoon. Here's my headlight problem. I got them all. It's like fucking Pokemon. I don't know if there's any gas left in this, but we gonna see. Looks like that maybe a little bit. One eternity later. Alrighty then. All the plastics are off. I need to find a muffler mount. Or just buy a new muffler can. Because yeah, the GNLE that. stuff was bought out by Arrow and you know literally no one will respond to me. I know. I've been trying for a hot minute to get another one. They're like, oh yeah, just buy another one. Cool one's added. Like, cool story, bro. Um, I don't want to buy one. I think all I need to do now is just put all the plastics on. I think everything else is kind of covered. Metal fuel quick disconnect for gas. Fancy. I don't think it's a directional. Could be wrong. I'll be able to tell the voltage off that too, not just yeah. the uh, battery now. Oh, gracias. The only bad part with these is the uh, diameter of the overall uh, USB adapter is slightly larger than the other ones. Oh, yeah. So you have to kind of wallow it out a little. Show the camera. Look, USB charger. You make it really close. Because it's not close. Yeah, because of the. Yeah. USB charger. Very nice. Chargey charge. Fancy schmancy. That's the dash I was talking about earlier. I was trying to explain that it had a dash. I was like, I don't know how the fuck to explain this very dash. dash. It is, but it's like, motorcycles don't have dashes. This is going right here. Okay, I will forget where it is. <laughs> it is on the butt of my bike. Steven's mowing. So I got this dash on, um, I'm gonna spin this around, but you know, USB charger on the dash. One thing I discovered is that before I was running the flush mount nose cone um, with the flush headlight, so I couldn't use this dash, but what I didn't realize is that I, what I didn't realize is that I thought that the windshields were the same screens so this is a completely different windscreen and I can't use this on this bike so I'm gonna have to try to find another windscreen because I'm pretty sure the other one I had got destroyed so I'm gonna put it together as much as I can but I'm gonna have to find a windscreen so it's gonna look a little goofy but 
we got progress. I'm getting the intake um, portions put on, cleaning up everything I can as I go. Just some simple green. Um, the thing I can with simple green. And I'm just going to put it all back together. I'm probably going to test the battery here in a little I need to make sure how this 12 volt wires up before I put the headlight back on because then I can't get to anything. So I'm going to do that now. Yay, things. I don't want to do the gas tank. <laughs> no, really. The funny part is, is that the USB charger is like right here where the windshield comes up. So like, if I ever have to check the voltage, I have to turn the bike on and like look on it from the outside. Uh, hey, yep, it's 11.7, we're okay. Oh, I did look in the ECU and it had a race chip. I, I don't know which one. I, I need research. Never paid attention before. But you took a picture of it. I did take a picture. Right here. See? So I'm getting good at this. Mm -hmm. I'm getting good at this. Shake, shake, shake it. Injection molded gas tank. Is weird. Why no just fucking take cover? Okay, so. I got the fuel pump transferred over. And now I'm just gonna probably put the tank on the bike. And also put the uh, quick disconnect on the fuel home, fuel hose here. Hmm. It is looked. I said he was gonna give me some other stuff. I just now realized this. Thanks, man. Got some Amsoil products. He's an Amsoil dealer. So, that was cool of him. The gasket for the uh, fuel filler nozzle. And it looks like I got new. Uh, I don't remember if I bought these or not. I know I looked at them, but they're the uh, uh, reservoirs for all the uh, uh, brakes and clutch. So that's awesome. These might be for the fairing um, to make it easier to get on and off. This got his. Uh, oh yeah, if it won't focus on me for a second, hey, great. Got his logo here. Thanks, Michael, man. Appreciate that. Um, if you guys need Amsoil products, he's out of Illinois, but as you know, Amsoil does deliver shipping and all that. So there's his info there. If you guys need Amsoil products, hit him up. Thanks, man. I'll be sure to hit you up uh, when I get around to doing an oil change next. I'll uh, put some Amsoil products through it. I originally just been putting a, uh, I think I've just always been doing what they recommend for the oil changes. I forget the brand now, but I just always go to the, well, when there was a local Aprilia dealership up here near Dallas, I would just go up there and get the oil from them. So referral code for Amazon products is uh, 5541460. So I'll have that info here, but thanks again, Michael. Appreciate it. Starting to look like a real bike again. More progress. The side fairings on. I need to find some mounting hardware for the back part of the belly pan. It's supposed to mount here somewhere. Something I, I don't know if I have the mounting hardware anymore. I may just have to find some online. Quick disconnect for the fuels right here. Um, for the fire bits. I gotta drill a hole on this one uh, for my crash bone there um, again more hardware is needed just stuff I've lost over the years um, this side's mounted pretty well right now and this side I need a lot of the the Zeus pins I'm missing quite a bit of them one two three four probably like six more I need total and then I just gotta throw that back on probably gonna go ahead and hook up the battery and then put fuel on it and not a lot, just to see what happens. 
It's starting to look like a real bike. Uh-huh. It's like a real boy bike again. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get it. Let's see. Power commander now is lighting up. That's good. That scared the shit out of me. How are your eardrums today? What? 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 Who? Ringing. It's not raining. Hallelujah. We're not going to finish that. <laughs> that fuck just started right up. Huh? Yeah. Damn. Right, kids? Did you hear that? Damn. <laughs> Little fucking shitheads over there. Down the street. Yeah, cool. So now I need to put the rear tail section on, get the gas cap filler part put on, button up a couple small things, and wait for more parts. Because that's half this game is waiting for parts. <laughs> this is funny. I should flip it back the other way. Because this, <laughs> I faced it that way. Yeah. Towards the bike, thinking I'd read it, but it's. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Still can't see it. Still can't see it. I love the Euro switch. <laughs> Headlight on. Headlight off. Overall good progress. Bike's almost finished now. It'll more or less be ready for riding season season here pretty soon. And the tires are fine because it's always been on the bike stand. So. bikes as done as I can make it. Drove it around. It's fine. Other than that, it should be ready to go here in a week or two depending on what parts I order and when and how fast I get here. So, if you guys want motor vlogging content, I may start throwing that up. If you're not interested, you guys let me know ideas to kind of have all kinds of just vehicle related stuff going on. Nothing, nothing too specific. Eventually it'll be more more consistent. There we go. But <clears throat> at some point it'll be consistent. Right now not so much. You get what you get. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs down, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.